What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Now, I noticed a common theme with a lot of traders. A lot of traders do not have the ability to be patient. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video this one time frame that does not require a lot of patience. Actually, it literally requires zero patience. I'm gonna go over exactly this strategy, how to use this time frame, and how it's so profitable. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want a free training, you wanna connect with me on my socials, scan this thing right here or right here. But without further ado, let's get into my computer. guys so the time frame that we're going to be using is the daily time frame every day a new candle opens up at 2 p.m pst if you guys want to take a note of that and if you're just horrible with times that's fine because there's a countdown timer right here that will tell you exactly when a new candle opens up so what i like to do is focus on about five main currency pairs i like the usd currency pairs but another good currency pair is GBP JPY. Now what I'm looking for is every day, like I said, at 2 p.m. PST, a new candle is gonna close or a new candle is gonna open and the current candle is gonna close. So I like to look for reversal candles, dojis, spinning tops, shooting stars, hammerhead candles, a candle that's gonna tell me that there's gonna be a reversal occurring. So we can see that we have a doji right here. Form this low and it looks like we're now going into an uptrend since we did break this resistance right here we're now going into an uptrend and it looks like this could be a higher low that's forming right here so it does look like the previous daily candle is a doji now that wick is longer than the wick on the bottom but honestly i think that it's going to go up especially looking at the stochastics right here it looks like they're crossing under so this might be confirmation that we could see a reversal. But honestly, guys, this doesn't look like too perfect of a setup to me. So I might pass on it. So what I'm going to do, since I don't have the USD pairs on my watch list right here, you guys can add them on your watch list. I'm going to go to other main ones. Let's go to USD cat. Do you know what? Before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the DXY. Now, if you guys do not know, the DXY is the dollar index. This tells us exactly how the dollar is performing. And honest, honestly, guys, with the Delta variant coming out, I don't think the US dollar is going to be performing too well. We already are in a downtrend, and it looks like the previous candle was a doji. So it went up, we have a doji, it kind of pushed down right here, and we could see it push down on this candle right here. So overall, our bias for the US dollar right now is negative. It looks like it's going down. So now let's apply that to USD CAD. So if the US dollar isn't performing too well, that means the USD CAD is most likely going to go down versus up. And we can see on the previous candle overall, first off, I like to look at the trend. We're in a downtrend. Previous candle does look like a spinning top. We have a long wig. So honestly, I would take this trade right here. This looks like a pretty good trade. I'm going to go short. I would enter just by market execution. Let me have my stops right above that wick. So I'm risking 71 pips and my reward. I'm going to aim for this previous support right here. So I'm going to go from the bottom of the wick right here. So almost a two to one risk reward ratio, about 35 pips off to make it a two to one risk reward ratio. But honestly, guys, this trade does look pretty profitable. And what I love about this, this type of trading is swing trading. We're not scalping the market where your emotions are all over the place. It's, it's like, okay, I have my time in the day where I look through my five trades or how many other currency pairs that you want to look at. You're like, all right, well, your USD doesn't look too good. USD CAD does though. And looking at the DXY, it says that the US dollars are performing well. So we'd be shorting USD CAD, which makes more sense. We did reject the 20 moving average right here as well. So this looks like a pretty good sell. So let's just hold that. Maybe I'll update you guys on a video or you guys can take a note and see what happens on this trade right here. So we started with your USD, then USD cap. Let's go to GBP USD. Okay. Now I told you guys that the US dollar isn't doing too good, right? 
Now that means if the US dollar isn't doing too good, the GBP, the GBP is going to be greater than the US dollar. So GBP USD is most likely going to go up. And we can see that we have a bullish engulfment right here. We have a bearish candle followed by a bullish candle. We can see that the body of this candle right here actually surpassed the body of this candle right here. So GBP USD looking like a good buy. We were kind of late on our entry. We could have entered right here, but it's fine. This looks like a good long position. Let's take a long right here. Okay. Our stops are going to be right below here for about 68 pips. And for our TP, let's target these clicks right here. You know what? I'm going to go a little higher because my stop loss is about the same as a TP. So I'm going to target these wicks right here. So let's go. There we go. 151 pips. So we could see this happening. Now, the thing about this strategy, too, it's like you find your setup, you enter it, you're good. You check it at the end of the day, the next day, a couple days later, you're going to see if your stop loss or take profit gets hit. If you're using the same lot size on both those trades, USD CAD and GBP USD, and you have about the same risk reward ratio, you're going to come out profitable at the end of each week. Now, this was a strategy that I used to use all the time, but honestly, guys, like I was just, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I wanted to get in and out of the markets. I wanted more of a thrill. So I stopped doing this. So now we can see that we have our two setups right here. And we just let it do its thing we can go into another trade but honestly guys when i was using this strategy i was going for about two trades a week okay and it's pretty cool too because there will be days when you're like okay well the market formed a doji it's most likely going to go up for three days so yesterday it went up for one day so we could probably see it going up for another day and then another day so hopefully by friday we could see our tp hit but this is a strategy that I wanted to show you guys. Very, very simple, very easy to do. And I hope you guys got value from this video. I feel like there was one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, oh yeah, one more thing before we end this video. I told you guys that a new candle opens up at 2 p.m. PST every day. Now, usually for the first hour of the candle opening, there's going to be a spread. That's just what happens when the market reopens back up or a new day opens up. So usually what I'll do is I'll wait an hour for the spread to close up so I can get a better entry with a tighter spread. And it's just better that way. So usually by like 3 p.m. is when I'll look at my trade. So what I would do is I would have a timer set at 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. each day. And then I'd have my watch list of the currency pairs that I'm looking at. So now here's the action step. You guys should now go on your trading view and add your currency pairs if you're going to use this strategy. Euro USD is a good one. GBP USD, USD CAD, USD Chef, USD JPY, GBP JPY, Euro Chef. It's really all up to you at the end of the day. But the reason why I told you guys that I like USD pairs is because we can use the DXY. So a lot of the time before. I go to GBP, USD, USD CAD, all these USD pairs, I'll just go to the DXY and I'll be like, okay, well, DXY is most likely going to be going down. That means that GBP, USD is going to be going up. USD CAD is going to be going down. USD JPY is going to be going down. So if the US dollar isn't doing good, that means that the um, other pairs like GBP, USD is going to go up. USD CAD is going to go down. I hope that makes sense to you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.